Bright Walls is not officially underway, but the preview wall is here, and I'm with artist Michelle Hoogbelt from Montreal, Canada, and event director Clay McAndrews. And, and Clay, it's awesome. Another preview wall gets people's uh, gets people going. Yeah. But uh, it's an interesting story on how you got uh, Michelle to do the preview wall. Yes. Yep. So we wanted to have Michelle here for the whole festival. Reached out to her. She's really excited to come. And unfortunately, she had a uh, a previous uh, event that she has to be at in in LA uh, might be a girlfriend weekend but I'll just say that and so long story short she said she'd be happy to come in a week early to be our preview artist so every year we've had a preview artist and we're really happy to have her here she gets a little bit more time with us we can give her more attention and it's something that gets the crowd excited just before the festival and she's also going to be uh, able to hang out with some of the artists that are arriving early too it's very cool now I asked you earlier before we were on camera what did you think of uh, our downtown when you uh, when you got here? Honestly, I love it. It's really cool that Bright Walls has taken the time to really condense it into three blocks because then when people want to experience all the murals, they really can just walk around and enjoy um, it as an event and experience. And I don't think any other mural festival has it kind of planned out like that. Now, when you were growing up and, and studying art, uh, did you ever think that uh, you'd be painting giant canvases, whether uh, streets, walls, I've, I've heard even basketball courts. Yeah, you know, I always just worked on canvas and then as soon as I saw people doing public art, I thought, I need to be part of this. And so I was actually a teacher at one point and uh, quit my job to do this full time. And now, yeah, honestly, it's been a dream. That's, yeah. that's amazing. Now talk a little bit about uh, your inspiration, your style and what what people uh, will maybe take away when they look at your art. It's filled with tons of color, but really the message is about love, connection, and uh, really the emotional connection we have to color and how that affects our emotions, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Now, I know you've uh, traveled all over the globe uh, doing these projects. <laughs> Talk about maybe some of the uh, unique places that your work has taken you. Yeah, one of them was Peru. That was pretty amazing. Another one was in Germany, and it was at this, like, old uh, hospital that they transformed into this like uh, mural festival spot and um, where else I'm off to Ireland potentially and um, LA next for a project so it's awesome the yeah. uh, the the traveling life sounds sounds awesome you get to see a, a lot of the country we're so happy to have you in in Jackson and that brings me to my next question clay is, is how do you how do you find the artists and how do you how do you decide uh, that you want to approach and invite the artists? Absolutely. It's a, it's a lengthy process because we want to make sure that we're having the right fit artists for Jackson. And we, we know the community, we know what is a, a hit based on previous years, but we also put together a collection of here's a lot of artists we're considering and we put a poll out to a lot of community members and then it kind of gives us a, a feeling for what, what style of work, what artists ranks, ranks higher than the others and that way we know we have some data to help back up our decisions and so Michelle ranked really high on that and, and it, it was a no-brainer for us to bring her here but it's a long lengthy process and in addition to that we want to make sure that it's very diverse so we don't want to have all the whole festival is all portraiture art, artists or the whole festival is all abstract we want to make sure that there's something for everyone here to find and appreciate and making sure that it's diversity of styles of nationalities of, of, of gender backgrounds of every single thing we can and we think we've really nailed it this year now when you have a wall of this size i assume you don't just walk up to it and start painting it there's a lot that goes into it yeah there's definitely a lot of planning beforehand um, on the computer mapping out my design and then once I get to the wall, it's a lot of math, a lot of angles. And um, this time, I took a little bit of a 3D approach to my design. So it was a little bit extra work, but I'm up for the challenge and I'm excited. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. Downtown's already looking uh, brighter, Clay. And uh, since I saw my friend Emily helping out Michelle, I thought that even though I'm not an artist, maybe I, I, could, I could try a little bit. Yeah, you up for it? I'm up for it. Let's do it. Great. Okay, so. <laughs> so I immediately you needed to stop me. I knew this was gonna happen. Go ahead, tell me what I did wrong. So you wanna get a little bit closer okay. and slow down the stroke a little okay. bit, but right. there you go. Alright, there you go. I got a little excited. <laughs> yeah. Alright, Clay, I'm gonna try that again. Alright, let's see. Wow. This is round two. Andy Holly. Professional artist. See, I'm already outside of the line. You're you're ready to be an assistant. 
But you're forever a part of the wall now. You definitely, that was an improvement from the first round, for I sure. Yeah. I think you did great. Thank you yeah, guys. Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, yeah. thank you guys so much. And uh, we look forward to watching you throughout the rest of the week. We appreciate it. Great. Thanks, Andy. Thank you.